Okay, so today I want to talk about language in the brain. So first off, we're going to review some of the major parts of the brain and how they are involved in language processing. All right, so first we have the frontal lobe, which I'm coloring in this nice uh, peach color. And the frontal lobe is, in, is generally responsible for planning. And as you can imagine, when you're speaking, you have to think, well, what am I going to say next? And so you have to do a lot of planning. The frontal lobe also houses Broca's area. So I'll color in Broca's area more or less right here on the left side, usually not on the right for most people. All right, so we have the frontal lobe up here, frontal lobe. And then in red, we have Broca's area. And again, in general, this is on the left side of the brain. And Broca's area is primarily responsible for language production uh, and also grammar. All right, so next up in green, I'm going to color in the parietal lobe. And the parietal lobe contains the sensory motor cortex, uh, so a lot of fine motor control. And as you can imagine, when you're speaking, if you think about all the fine movements that you have to make with your tongue and your lips, there's a lot of very detailed, very fine movement that you have to make with your tongue, with your throat, with your lips, if you're speaking, or if you are signing a sign language, a lot of very fine motor control. So the parietal lobe, also very important for language production. All right, next we have the occipital lobe back here. And the occipital lobe is generally for visual processing. And so when you're reading or writing, Obviously, you're using your occipital lobe, not only reading and writing, but also sign language. Uh, the occipital lobe being able to see is very important. Uh, and also reading people's lips. So you might think, oh, well, I can't read lips, but it's actually really important to be able to look at a person's face and see their facial cues, their gestures, their body language. All right, so over here we have the uh, temporal lobe. It's generally for auditory processing. So if you are listening to some speech, you're going to be using your temporal lobe. And the temporal lobe also houses Wernicke's area, which is very important for language comprehension. Temporal lobe, right here. And then in purple, we have Wernicke's area. All right, last but not least, you have the brain stem and the cerebellum down here. And you might think, well, those are just involuntary processes that's not involved in language, but it kind of is. So you need to keep breathing while you talk. So it's pretty important to have your cerebellum and your brain stem, keeping you breathing, keeping you alive. And if you start thinking about a you know, the process of inhaling and exhaling and speaking at the same time. It... All right, so here we have the whole brain more or less labeled on the left side of the brain is where language is housed. So frontal lobe, generally with planning, we have Broca's area. Now Broca's area is responsible for a lot of grammar and a lot of language production. And I remember this because the frontal lobe is responsible for planning. And so when you plan, you have to think, what am I about to say? And so what are you about to produce? So I'm going to produce language. And so that's going to be Broca's area. Over here, we have the temporal lobe. So the temporal lobe is all about listening. It's all about your auditory processing. And we have Wernicke's area. Wernicke's area is a lot about the vocabulary and also language comprehension. And so if you think, well, I'm listening with my temporal lobe, my auditory processing, I'm comprehending language. So I'll write this in red. So language production. And also grammar is Broca's area. So in purple, uh, Wernicke's area is uh, language comprehension and also vocabulary. So frontal lobe planning, what am I going to say next? How am I going to produce my next utterance? Temporal lobe, uh, listening, auditory. How am I comprehending this language? Now, the other part of this is remembering that the grammar is in the frontal lobe 
and the vocabulary is in the temporal lobe, how do I remember this? Uh, well, Wernicke, even though it's spelled with a W, it's a German name, so V. So I remember, well, Wernicke's area is vocabulary. So we have these two Vs there that match, and that's how I remember Wernicke's is vocabulary. And then I know, well, Broca's is the other one, so grammar and vocabulary. And again, the whole brain is involved in language production, language comprehension, uh, parietal lobe, Again, sensory motor cortex, all this kind of fine motor control. Occipital lobe, not only reading and writing, but also looking at people, looking at their lips, looking at their gesture. Uh, cerebellum and brainstem, controlling your breathing, uh, controlling your memory. So yeah, I hope this was a good introduction to language in the brain. I hope this helps you with your AP Psych class, your Intro to Linguistics class. I hope this really helps.